Hello guys, myself Amrita. Welcome back to our channel Technosage. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about data types in MySQL. So first you should know what is data type. Data type is basically a classification which tells you what type of data you can store. For example, you can store the data in the form of numbers. You can store the data in the form of strings. You can store the data in the form of characters. You can also store date and time type of data. So that's why MySQL has divided the data types into three categories that is numeric which is in the form of numbers then date and time and then strings. So let's discuss all three data types one by one. First we will discuss about the numeric data types. As you can see numeric means numbers. So if you are storing any data in the form of numbers then you can say that that would be stored in the numeric data types. For example you can say employee ID which is always in the form of numbers then if you are studying in a school or college if they want to store your role number that is in the form of numbers and then you also have customer IDs so all these types of data you have to store in the numeric data types so we have different types of numeric data type first is int which is integer that means you can store the data in the form of numbers then you have to specify that type as int it will store up to 11 digits similarly in mysql apart from int we also have tiny int small int and medium int so tiny int you can say tiny integer that means very small integer it stores up to four digits and then we have small int which is small integer it will store up to five digits and then we have medium int and big int medium int will store basically nine digits and big int is suppose as i have told you that integer will store up to 11 digits suppose if you want to store any number which is more than 11 digits then you have to use big int that is big integer it will take up to 20 digits so these were the data types for integers now we also have other numeric data types like float and double which will also save numbers but with the decimal places float and double for example if you want to save the percentage so percentage could be like this right 95.2 percent 50.1 percent so like that that means these are the numbers but with decimal places then you have to use float and double float can go up to 24 places that means after this decimal you can store up to 24 places and double can take up to 53 places. So these were the numeric data types. Now let's discuss about the next data types that is date and time. Sometimes when you are creating a new table you want to store the date. For example if you are working in an organization they might have to store your joining date right. So that will be in the form of date and also you have to store the times then you have to take the data type as time so in date and time data types we have four types of data type that is one is date if you want to store date and then we have date time if you want to store both date and time and then we have time if you want to store only time and we have one more that is year if you want to store the year so in date date format is yyyy mm and dd so it will store the data as like 2022 if you want to store the date and time both then you have to give the same format for the date and then you have to store the time also which will be in the hh mm and ss that is hours minutes and seconds if you want to store only time again same format hh mm and ss that is hours minutes and seconds and if you want to store the year then you have to provide the data type as year that means 2022 so like that you can store and it will take by default it will take four digits so these were the date and time data types now let's discuss the last data type that is strings string data types so in strings also we have multiple types of data so first is care and where care 
सो कैर एंड वेर कैर बोथ विल टेक द डेटा टाइप एज कैरेक्टर्स बट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू इज दैट कैर विल स्टोर द डेटा विद द फिक्सड कैरेक्टर्स एंड वेर कैर दैट मीन्स वेरिएबल कैरेक्टर दैट मीन्स इट विल टेक द कैरेक्टर्स विद द वेरिएबल लेंथ दैट मीन्स द लेंथ कैन चेंज फॉर एग्जाम्पल एम्प्लॉई नेम राइट सम एम्प्लॉज विल हैव अ वेरी स्मॉल नेम लाइक थ्री फोर कैरेक्टर्स एंड सम एम्प्लॉज कैन हैव अप टू टेन कैरेक्टर्स इन देयर नेम सो दैट मीन्स इट इज अ वेरिएबल टाइप सो इन दैट केस यू कैन स्पेसिफाई एज वेर कैर एम्प्लॉई नेम एंड कैरेक्टर इफ यू नो इट इज अ फिक्सड लेंथ फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नेम सो यू नो दैट फॉर ऑल द एम्प्लॉज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नेम विल बी सेम सो इन दैट केस यू कैन यूज कैर mostly we use where care apart from strings you also want to store sometimes large files and images then that time you have to use the data type as text it is also called as b long that is binary large objects and there is no length specified for this so it is basically for files or images so in this case also as i had told you in numeric we had int small int medium int big int so in text also we have the same things like tiny text small text medium text and long text depending upon what type of file and image you want to store and then we also have enum enum is enumeration that means list of objects if you want to store list of objects then you have to specify the data type as enum so here you can take the example if you are running a small business right so you want to store the list of products so in that case you can specify the data type as enum so these were the data types which are used in my sql string type numeric type date and time type i hope you understood the data types and from the next video when we are running the queries when we are inserting the data into the tables we have to specify the data type for each attribute If you have any questions or any doubts please let me know in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon to get the notifications